Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be focusing on a seemingly well-designed debounce circuit and an essential tool in digital electronics for smoothing out transitions when you close a switch. But even in a seemingly well-designed circuit, things can go wrong. So we'll simulate the circuit, identify a common issue, and walk through the process of diagnosing and correcting it. Let's get started. Let's begin by running a simulation of our circuit. Here we go. So if we go to the simulation dashboard, start verification, and then set analysis setup and run, we can go to transient, set the start time from zero seconds and the end time to three seconds, then hit the run button. It looks like we're facing an unexpected error. This problem is commonly caused by dangling lines. To fix this, we'll add a 10 mega ohm resistor in parallel with V out to ground. So let's go to the icon where we can simulate, where we can select simulation generic component, look for resistor, double click base bar to rotate this, double click on the component and give it 10 meg. You have to type in meg as opposed to m, m will just be interpreted as milli. Then use control W to wire the circuit. You can right mouse click to end the wire, select a ground symbol and copy and paste it, or you can place one from the top bar. Then we'll go to tools, annotation, annotate schematics quietly and click yes. Now that we've added this resistor, let's run the simulation again. So go to simulation dashboard and hit run. Okay, so now we're facing a new issue. The simulation runs, but we have an inadequate time constant. The RC time constant is crucial in debounce circuits and an inappropriate value can lead to incorrect behavior or not solving the debounce problem at all. Let's correct this by adjusting the circuit RC time constant. If you're unsure about how to calculate it or simply need a quick answer, running a parameter sweep of the C1 capacitor is a great way to go. Let's set up the settings and run the simulation. To do that, go to the simulation dashboard tab, choose sweep, select settings, choose your sweep parameter. We'll set it to C1. And let's say we want to go from 10 picofarad to 22 microfarad with a step size of one microfarad. Click OK. We set the settings and we can run the simulation. Now from the results, we can see that the output voltage is no longer affected. Click on one of the waveforms and then scroll along the waveforms to see which ones have more debounce or less debounce. And you'll see that it starts having less bouncing around the nine microfarad value. So let's adjust C1 to a nine microfarad capacitor. You would double click on C1, change it to nine UF or nine U, go to the simulation dashboard, uncheck sweep, then run the simulation. Now, when we run the simulation again, we can see that the circuit provides the expected debounce behavior. Thank you for watching. 